Now imagine a shark so large that it's two to three times the size of a great white. Megalodon. A team of scientists has picked up a giant creature on their radar in the Atlantic Ocean they believed was Megalodon. The most dangerous and feared predators in the ocean. The biggest shark that ever lived. Megalodon. Megalodon is one of the most resilient creatures that ever existed, and many have their doubts about the creature being extinct. Have you seen the Meg and Meg do the trench with Jason Statham? This Meg I've ever seen. Biggest Meg anyone's ever seen. Well, these movies might become a reality, and we'll be exploring the evidence presented by scientists about how this animal might still be with us. In today's video, we'll be looking at the history of the Megalodon and reviewing the shocking footage of a massive 50-foot Megalodon from the Atlantic Shark Institute, proving it may still exist today. Megalodon was one of the largest predators to ever roam the oceans, which is why they picked it as a villain for the new movie Meg 2 The Trench, which is a prequel to the 2018 movie. This gargantuan creature lived around 20 million years ago and ruled the seas for a staggering 13 million years before vanishing from the earth approximately 3.6 million years ago. This period was a significant turning point in climate as Earth transitioned into an ice age. The temperatures had an impact on the ecosystems, including the oceans. It is so cold that when the moisture evaporates from the oceans, goes to the clouds, the clouds go over the land, it doesn't rain, it snows. So the water that had lifted up from the ocean does not return to the ocean. As Megalodon relied on warm waters, the shrinking of its habitat and the changing distribution of food played a big role in its demise. The Megalodon's size also required an immense amount of food, making it vulnerable to changes. Sharks predate the dinosaurs by millions of years, making them some of the oldest creatures on Earth and some of the most adaptable. Imagine a shark three times longer than the largest great white shark you've ever seen. That's how big Megalodon was estimated to be, reaching lengths of 50 to 60 feet or 15 to 18 meters. Megalodon was a giant fossil shark. Yeah, kind of a school bus size animal. To put that in perspective, it could have easily rivaled the size of today's largest whale sharks, which can grow up to that size, but they're much less predatory and aggressive than Megalodon. Megalodon might have lived way back in the dinosaur days, but there are shocking sightings that may prove otherwise, but more on that later. It used to cruise around in warm oceans all over the world, the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean, and even the Indian Ocean. Basically, if there was a warm sea, Megalodon was there, everywhere except Antarctica. Some sharks are known for their long migrations. For instance, the great white shark can travel thousands of miles in search of food or to reach breeding grounds, but Megalodon simply lived everywhere without a need for migration. Great whites have been tracked going 1,500 miles in a month, so for Megalodon that would be nothing. Now, about its diet. Megalodon didn't mess around with plants or anything like that. It ate other sea creatures. It was like a buffet of big prey, like whales. Most predatory fish eat much smaller animals, but this one had a menu of whales, large fish, and even other sharks. Most sharks are not dangerous to humans as we aren't part of their daily diet and they leave us alone. But those that do attack make some wild stories. Recently, archaeologists have discovered a buried human skeleton that is 3,000 years old. This person was attacked by a shark and had 790 injuries on his bones. This makes it the oldest recorded shark attack. But the craziest story comes from World War II when the USS Indianapolis was sent on a mission to deliver the Hiroshima bomb and as they were heading back, the ship sank. Over a third of the sailors died due to the sinking and over 150 people died due to shark attacks before help came. Of the Indianapolis's original crew of 1196 men, a staggering 879 were killed in the disaster. As for Megalodon, it hunted prey as small as dolphins or as colossal as humpback whales. It might be substantially smaller than a blue whale, but it is a lot scarier and very aggressive. Sharks have remarkable wound healing capabilities, but despite that, shark skeleton is made from cartilage and the only thing we have from Megalodons are their teeth, which is how the scientists calculated their size. We've got these massive, razor blade sharp teeth attached to an animal the size of a greyhound bus. We truly don't know exactly what the megalodon looked like, we can only assume. It had a bunch of super sharp teeth and when it took a bite, it crushed bones with ease. That's how it got its meals, with one big powerful bite. 
Meg teeth could reach over 7 inches or 18 centimeters in length. For comparison, saltwater crocodile teeth are up to 5 inches or 13 centimeters long, but megalodon teeth have serrated edges and there are also 276 of them, making them a fearsome predator. Megalodon's jaw was 9 by 11 feet wide, 2.7 by 3.4 meters, making it capable of swallowing two adult humans side by side, and research suggests that its bite force might have made it one of the most formidable predators in history. Humans have a bite force of around 300 psi, while great white sharks have around 4100 psi. However, experts estimate that Megalodon's bite ranged from 30,000 to 40,000 psi. Couple that with a 50-ton body, 45.5 tons, and you have the deadliest animal that's ever lived. You're throwing yourself into the world of a super predator. At first, scientists believed that Megalodon was just a beefed-up great white shark, but recent reconstructions suggest it had a shorter nose, a flatter jaw, and extra-long pectoral fins to support its massive weight. It belonged to a distinct lineage and had been around for over 100 million years, with its oldest known ancestor dating back 55 million years. Many people started talking seriously about Megalodon still existing, especially after a Discovery Channel documentary called Megalodon – The Monster Shark Lives. They got people all riled up with concrete evidence and pictures. There's even a photo from 1942 where a humongous shark is swimming around a submarine. In the documentary, a lot of witnesses came on the show and even some experts agreed. They see this enormous thing swimming like this, which is how sharks swim, and I see the dorsal fin in the position that freaks me out. But some of the most important ones, like Dr. Jonathan Davis, said that there's no concrete evidence that Megalodon is still around and that colder oceans and lowering the amount of food are the biggest proof of that. Now, there have been some other potential sightings, but people debunk them by saying there would be teeth marks discovered. But as mentioned earlier, megalodons eat their prey whole. The ocean is a big place and we're still learning about it. More than 80% of the ocean has never been mapped, explored, or even seen by humans, so there's a chance that megalodon might be out there somewhere. Meg2 talks about this giant creature coming out of a trench and terrorizing people. And that is not that far-fetched from reality. The deepest part of the world by far is the Mariana Trench, over 35,760 feet or 10,900 meters deep to be precise, and it's still not explored enough to this day where scientists find new species. Only a handful of unmanned missions have ever reached this depth, and some weird life thrives there, and the trench isn't fully explored yet, which is what they're doing in the movie. This keeps the chance alive. In the movie, they have suits that allow them to go down into the deepest part of the trench, but there's a pressure of almost 16,000 psi, and the human body can withstand up to 15 psi without feeling the effects, but theoretically it goes up to 150 psi. So in real life, this suit is almost impossible. Besides this, there have been a bunch of megalodon sightings that have left people scratching their heads like when some drone footage shows a colossal shark that could be the largest ever recorded at around 95 feet or 29 meters in length came out. But the wildest one comes directly from the Atlantic Shark Institute when their scanners picked up a giant 50 foot or 15 meter creature. Researchers were shocked as it appeared to be a megalodon and it came out as an article in the New York Post that flabbergasted people. The article describes their routine trip and how the team was shocked to pick up footage of a mag on their radar. You could see the dorsal fin and everything. But the footage fooled them as instead of an extinct monster, it turned out to be a school of mackerel, and despite their efforts, they don't believe this animal still exists. However, just because this particular finding didn't turn out to be Meg, it still doesn't mean that the elusive monster doesn't exist. So what do you think? Could this prehistoric shark still be out there? Do you know about some other giant shark sightings that could lead us to the Megalodon? Comment down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell.